Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. This is BBC News. I'm Geetha Gurumuthi. Our top stories. Civilians flee the besieged Ukrainian city of Mariupol, but 160,000 people are estimated to be trapped inside. The Red Cross renews their evacuation attempts after failing on Friday. We can facilitate uh, the passage, the safe passage for civilians once both parties come to agreement. And unfortunately, until now, this has not materialized. In England, children aged between 5 and 11 can book their COVID jabs as the UK infection rate hits a record high. Today marks 40 years since the start of the Falklands War when Argentina invaded and occupied islands they call the Malvinas. Hollywood actor Will Smith resigns from the Oscars Academy after slapping the comedian Chris Rock. Hello, welcome to BBC News. More than 3,000 citizens from Mariupol have managed to flee to safety after suffering weeks of bombardment with no food, fresh water or power. However, a larger evacuation and aid convoy planned by the International Committee of the Red Cross failed on Friday. Today, the Red Cross says more teams have set off to rescue more of the tens of thousands of residents still trapped.